A group of Canadian business leaders is urging federal political parties to outline their economic plans. With Canadians heading to the polls in less than five months, the Business Council of Canada is voicing its concerns about the country's economic future in an open letter. Council Chair Don Lindsay is also the CEO of metals and mining company Tech Resources. He joins us from Vancouver with more. Don, thanks for joining us. Uh, in this letter, you and others raising some potential concerns about the Canadian economy down the road. What's your primary concern? Well, we certainly believe that Canada is a great place to work and a, a great place to live, and we hope it always will be. But we, we have some concerns that there are clouds looming on the horizon, that we see some challenges to our economy. And we want to make sure that each of the federal uh, political parties have very specific uh, policies to address some of these issues. For example, skills and talent, uh, energy and infrastructure, taxation, regulation, uh, innovation in the knowledge economy, of course, very important, and Canada's place in the world. These are key issues that we're hoping to see from all of the federal leaders, specific policy platforms that to help address the issues. How much of the uncertainty is coming from external factors like the Trump administration threatening to impose tariffs on Mexico? Has the U.S. torpedoed the USMCA? Certainly external factors uh, will have a big influence on the Canadian economy, but we do have to respond to those. Uh, we're worried about Canada becoming complacent. We see other countries working hard to improve their competitiveness, and sometimes when they change their policies, as the U.S. has done, as you pointed out, uh, we have to respond. We need to make sure that the economic issues are front and centre in the upcoming election. Well, you mentioned taxation, and certainly that's something we did see the Trump administration uh, take action on. Uh, when it comes to tax policy in this, in this country, how aggressive would you like to see uh, government leaders go? Well, each of the leaders of the various political politics will have their own position, but I would point out a, a study that uh, I believe Price Waterhouse to, is suggesting that the effect of the tax cuts in the U.S. was 10 times greater than the effect of the, the renegotiation of NAFTA. Tax cuts make a big difference to economic decisions, and so each of the parties uh, will have to have a, a position on that. And this is really what we're asking. We know we don't have all the answers, but we want to make sure that each of the political parties come forward with clear platforms, clear policies that can Canadians can then assess uh, and uh, will be uh, directed towards making us more competitive because that's what Canadians deserve. So Don, how much are your members factoring in that the USMCA will get passed this year? Well, we'll all have to uh, watch how that develops. There's uh, always a surprise factor, as we've seen before. Our, our members uh, now employ uh, close to 2 million Canadians, so it's a big factor for, for most of them. Uh, lots of us have worked uh, very closely to try and uh, uh, have as much communications with our counterparts there, and we'll be continuing to do that as, as early as next week. How do your members feel Canada has handled relations with China after the arrest of the Huawei CFO? Well, China is uh, also a very important factor in the global economy, needless to say, and uh, the current stress between Canada and China doesn't help. But uh, there are challenges that everyone's trying to work towards. Uh, at the end, you know, we want to make sure that each of the federal parties, each of the leaders, uh, comes forward with key specific uh, solutions to these issues that we've raised. You know, as I said, we, do, we know we don't have all the answers. We don't want to come forward and try and boil the ocean with a long list of our, our wish list. We want to gather input from all Canadians. We're having roundtables across the country. Uh, we're, we're consulting with Indigenous people, with small business, with communities, uh, NGOs, labor, of course, and uh, we have a website, in fact, www.itsaboutcanada.ca, uh, where people can submit their ideas and their solutions. We just want to make sure that in the upcoming campaign that these key issues are addressed. Don, that's the big picture. Um, obviously, we, t we talked about China, which you have a lot of experience in working there as well. How confident uh, are you in your own business, the outlook, just given some of the tensions in the air right now? Well, I was there last week. Uh, I had good meetings uh, with uh, key individuals uh, in Beijing. And, you know, we, we haven't been affected uh, so far for our business at Tech, the key commodities. Uh, there's been no change uh, at the front lines of customer demand. And we haven't had any particular issues with China, so we're pleased with that. Uh, we know that could change at a moment's notice, but we're carrying on uh, business as usual. Don, thank you so much for joining us today. Don Lindsay of the Business Council of Canada and, of course, Tech Resources.